Bruno, you look sharp tonight. Is that cologne I smell? It is, and you do. So how was your day yesterday? Yesterday, I was standing out in front of the Waldorf Astoria. By the way, that's where I live, out in front of the Waldorf Astoria. Uh, thanks for giving me a nice, quiet room to rehearse in, folks. I appreciate it. Come on, do you know this is a good crowd? Yeah, and the Hindenburg was a good airline. Oh. So, uh, are you all ready for your uh, test in school tomorrow? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, let me ask you a couple of questions. Uh, what's the definition of bacteria? It's the rear end of the cafeteria. <laughs> uh, what was King Louis the Fourteenth responsible for? King Louis the Fifteenth. I hope you enjoy your hamburgers, folks. I saw a rat vomiting in the kitchen. Okay. You're the ride the subway in the That was terrific, folks. huh? Thank you, Jerry and Dino. How about a hand for them? Okay. Uh, well, we do have a great show for you tonight, starring your headliner, New York's own Tony Metropolis. Sing <laughs> it in honesty. But first, please welcome the comedy stylings of Sal Salvino. Thank you, folks. Thank you. How about another round of applause for the dummy and his dummy, huh? Let him hear it. Oh, man, it's good to be here. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. I was having sex last night. Right before I went to have sex, the girl's like, aren't you going to put a condom on? I'm like, come on. That's like chewing gum with the wrapper, honey, please. What the fuck's the matter with you? You're supposed to be warming the crowd up, not freezing them out. Three couples got up and walked tonight. Huh? And how many times have you to tell that little prick of yours to stop insulting the food? You insult my food, you insult me. I ain't out of you, Nancy. And don't talk back to me through the dummy. It wasn't funny when you were on stage, and it's not funny now. You got that, huh? You listening? Lou, me and Dino got good material, but that crowd wasn't listening. I can't be an opening act. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe you'd like it better if I put you on just before the headliner. Oh, please, that would be great. Or I could put you on stage after the headliner, and you could clean the drunks out for me. Or better yet, I could put you in the men's room with a towel and two cakes of soap, and then you'd actually be worth what I'm paying you. Lighten up. I got the number for tonight. We sold out again. I am B. I'll see you at home. Hey, Lou, I couldn't have done that bad. You sold out. It wasn't because of you, asshole. They came to see Tony Metropolis. You want to see what a real headliner's like? Watch and learn. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Tony Metropolis, the king of Canarsie! <laughs> First of all, who's from Canarsie? Tonight! Oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be back. I uh, leave town for a little bit, went down to Tennessee. It's like three jeans from Mongoloids down there. <laughs> three jeans from Mongoloids. You think I'm kidding? First of all, everyone's nice. How you doing? How you doing? Fuck, shut up! You know what I mean? I mean, you bump into someone there. You know, hey, I'm walking up, boom. They turn around, oh, I'm sorry. Come on, give a hug. We're down here. Oh, shut up. Canarsie, it's what it's about, you know? You walk around, you bump into someone here. Forget about it. What the fuck? <laughs> Dumb old lady, watch where you're walking. I just got this jacket. It is good to be back here. You see that, huh? All these kids drove in from Brooklyn to see Tony Metropolis, the king of Canarsie. <laughs> That's a star, my friend. Down there, they got these animals, they got birds. Even the birds are nice. Chip, 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 chip. Chip, 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 chip. chip. <laughs> I mean, Canarsie, we, even the pigeons are tough. <laughs> Excuse me, got some bread, faggot? <laughs> Man, tonight you suck worse than a two-dollar hooker. Come on, give him a break. He's just starting out. Sal, how'd you do tonight? I killed. I got killed. That's your own fault, my friend. Yeah, come on, give him a break, Tony. Come on, this guy needs to learn a lesson. Are you kidding me? You're doing a ventriloquist act at this day and age. That's so old school, are you kidding me? Ten minutes about a buzzsaw, and then the dummy did the... That's not an act. It's creepy. 
Exactly. It's creepy. You take me. I got my own series coming up. The King of Canasi. I'm headlining all over the place. Got Wyoming, Nebraska. Never fucking been there. But you know why I can? Because my comedy, where's it come from? Right here. Right fucking here. My comedy. Your comedy comes from a fucking dummy. Case closed. So until your comedy starts coming from your gut, you're always gonna be the poor schmuck who leaves with the fucking dummy. Come on, Sal, let's go get some bitches. You can have the leftovers. You know I like them warm, Tony. That fuck. He's got his tongue so far up Tony's ass, he can taste toothpaste. Tony's right. No, I mean, I think you can be very funny, Jerry. But you're holding back. I mean, I can feel it, and I know the audience can. You should start listening to that little voice inside of you. You should try it sometime. Hey, pal, over here. Not there, over here. Ow. Nice workmanship. Where did you come from? Some rich guy buy you for his kids? Probably didn't appreciate you. You can come home with me. What's your name? Fritz? Fritz? Looks like this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. 